All right, what I have here is CentOS 7. Let's get the, the default known desktop environment. Now, as you might notice, I have the dash to dock extension working. And the lower bar is missing from this setup that uh, was there when it came out of the box. And so what I found out was, let me show you how he did all this. Now, obviously, you installed the extensions, right? So, in just about every other distro you've ever used the GNOME desktop in, you're going to go, there's going to be a link down here and it say add more extensions, right? And so you would click that link and it would open up the browser. It would take you to uh, extensions.gnome.org or something like that. And so in most other distros, it would do that. It would open up to the that page and you'd go to extensions.gnome.org, right? Well, first thing you see here is you've got this still says, although GNOME shell integration is running, native host controller. So I went through all kind of fits trying to figure out how I would get that installed. A bunch of Google searches and everything else, right? All right, well, here is the solution to two problems that will plague you. Now, if you're going to use the dash to dock, probably you're going to want to put it at the bottom, maybe not. That's where I like to put it. And out of the box, you see you got this bottom bar. And so I found ways to uh, get rid of it. And one of the ways I did when I the Google search is I found that you could basically remove a directory that it uses to function, right? And that's kind of a sledgehammer effect to do it when it's real simple to do here. If you just open the tweak tool, you just go to your GNOME Tweak tool, right? And you go to Extensions. Now, it's called Window List. So you go all the way down to the bottom. Here's where I found it. Window List. And you just turn that off. Boink. Look at that. Bottom bar is gone. Now you see here that I have the dash to dock installed. But how did you do it, right? Well, that is mystery solved number two. If you don't already have it and you're using CentOS, you want to get Yum Extender. So Yum Extender is basically a GUI for installing and updating packages in CentOS. What you have to do is if you actually just do a quick search, so you just go GNOME Extension and enter, you'll see that the way you actually install them is directly from the repositories. So if you look here, right here is my dash to dock. And I got it right here. So instead of going through the browser extension and all that and adding it that way, the way CentOS has it set up is to install your extensions directly from the repos with your package manager. So let's see here. Let me see here. So by default, it came with this package manager here, which is software, I believe is what it's called. Let's see. I speculate. Show details. It's called GNOME Software. There you go. So, that wasn't what I meant to do. If we close this, so you may be able to do it this way. Let me see. So you go GNOME Software, and then you go to Search, and you do known extension right on so here's a few gnome extensions here you got email notification a transparent gnome top panel analog neon clock How about that so let's say if i wanted to get that one let's do an install install okay so that's all set now what I have noticed here is that I gotta put tweaks in this dock. So let's see, here's tweaks, and we'll just add it to the pen, add it to favorites, and then that'll be there. So let's see, extensions. Oh, okay, so that one's actually there. Analog neon clock. Well, it says it's there, and yet I don't see it, so whatever 
Okay, so what I noticed after I installed the dash to dock was I had to actually reboot in order to see it show up in GNOME Tweaks. But that's a couple of little... Oh, I see. And it says you got to restart to make some changes. So that's fine. Let's see, so that neon clock. So basically, they don't, they don't jump out there like you do with the other method of adding the extensions. You may require a restart to get it to work. That is how you get your GNOME extensions in CentOS 7 here in the year 2019. So there's a little mystery solved for us. I hope that helps somebody. I know it would have helped me if I could have found it without having to stumble around and stumble upon it. So there's two quick things that you can do. You can uh, basically get rid of the lower panel, do the extensions, and window list. See, there's the window list. It would look awful with the dash to dock down there, so you just turn it off. And you can add extensions right through the repositories. So just look for it in your software. Hot setup is to use YumX, or you can get by using the GNOME software. I don't like the way GNOME software communicates with you while it's installing stuff. Whereas Yum kind of shows you some progress and you see that it's working. But I guess they both work. So either way. Hey, thanks for watching and y'all take care.